Hello and welcome to Cataclysm University. My name is Vormithrax and I'll be your instructor today. This is course number 21 where we're going to talk about dragged storage items. So inventory control in Cataclysm is very important. Knowing what options you have and how to increase your carrying capacity is pretty important. That will allow you to target raids into specific buildings to try to find certain items. And what we're going to be talking about in this course is items you can find and use. You can drag them along behind you to increase your storage capacity. So what do I mean? Well, here's some examples. We've got our Professor Varmithrax character here in the middle of the screen, and right below me I've got three different items. This first item here is a swivel chair. If we examine that direction, you can see swivel chair, light, extra light frame, a seat, and four inch casters. The important part here is the seat. It has 25 liters of carrying capacity. So, because of the design here and that 25 liters, that means I can use the grab command, shift G, to grab a hold of that, and it'll follow along behind me as I move around. Now, this will allow me to dump things onto the chair, and it would then hold them for me and drag them around with me, so I can use it for an extra carrying capacity. I can let go of it whenever I want to, with the shift G command again, and I can like I said, put things on, take things off of that particular space using the advanced inventory menus uh, and the other ways to move items around, which are covered in other courses. So that's one example. The next example is this one. This is the shopping cart. Very commonly found in the game world in grocery stores, home improvement stores, liquor stores, pretty much anything that's got the word store in it. It's got a good chance of having shopping carts. Um, you want to find one that's got the best condition, so it has all three components in as close to green condition as you can manage. The shopping cart, the specific benefit is increased capacity up to 50 liters of carrying capacity. And it works exactly the same as the other one. You can grab it, drag it around behind you, dump stuff into it, take stuff out of it, and it gives you extra 50 liters of storage capacity. And then this third one looks the same graphically, but it is a different item. This is the wheelbarrow. And same basic idea behind the construction, but it provides 68.75 liters of carrying capacity operates exactly the same as the other ones. Now one thing I do want to mention, whenever you're dragging items around behind you, you have to be careful of two things. One, how much movement points it is costing you, because it will be increasing the movement point cost when you're dragging an item, as well as how much sound it's making. So if I just move back and forth right now, it's making six sound to move this wheelbarrow back and forth. And it's costing 115 movement points as I move on this even floor back and forth. Now let's compare that. If I let go of that and grab this instead, and do the same kind of movement, 6 sound, 115. Let go of that, same thing, 6 sound, 115. All right, so pretty much 115, or 100, it's 6 sound regardless. That's interesting. Why are diagonals not causing any sound? That's kind of weird. <laughs> it may be a reporting issue. Um, but just be aware of that. So watch your sound level, because that indicates how far away in spaces that uh, zombies or enemies can hear you when you're using that item. And also the movement cost. So it's adding 10 movement points, basically. I'm moving from 105 to 115 movement points while I'm dragging. So, those are three common items. It's well worth the trade-off, as long as you are careful about how much sound you're making and the movement point cost. Um, just be conscious of those and let go of the cart before you go into a big fight and be careful how close you get to monsters in the dark, for example, if you're trying to be stealthy. You don't want them to hear the uh, scraping or the wheel noises that these carts make when you're dragging them around. But the carrying benefits are obvious. All right, well, what if you don't have access to one of these? You've checked your local area and there aren't any in the various buildings and you just struck out on that. Well, you can build your own versions of these early game and here are two examples of how to do that. So directly below me here is what's called a travois. If we examine it, I did name it travois because that's what it's built of. It's just a simple wooden frame laid down, and I'll show you how to do this in a minute. But it's just a wooden frame, and then once that's down and you go to install on this vehicle space, travois is one of the cargo options that you can build if you have the right materials with you. And that provides you 50 liters, so just like the shopping cart. So I can grab that and I can drag it, and it provides 115 movement points and 6 sound again. So, pretty easy to build if you don't happen to have these available. 
And then finally we have this option, which is just a wooden box built again on a wooden frame. So the wood box has only 37.5 liters of space, so not as good as the Travois, but it is also uh, less resource intensive, and you'll see why in just a second. Um, but you can grab that, drag it around, again 115 movement points and 6 sound. So it's not much variance in the sound, but uh, it does vary tremendously in the resources to build these and the amount of uh, raw materials. So. If we come down here, I'll show you how to build each of these. So I've just got a pile of raw materials here. The things we're going to need are nails, and I just summoned up a big pile of nails. But you can smash all these uh, wooden benches up to get nails, as well as 2x4s. The only thing on this list that's a little harder to come by is the short ropes. So wooden frames are built out of 2x4s and nails. So just smash up all the benches and counters in here, for example, and you'll have plenty of materials to build either one of these. Short ropes is the only thing that is a bit of an issue, and if you do a search in your crafting menu for rope, you can see short makeshift rope and short rope. So short ropes, a single short rope would take either 6 long strings or 36 small strings or 72 withered plants or 72 piles of straw. So you can make short ropes, it just takes a bit of material. Short strings we can get from the curtains, but we wouldn't get a lot, so we'd only be able to make one or two short ropes um, out of this entire building, basically. So unless you know where and how to get more short ropes, this could be a little tricky early on. You also have the short makeshift rope, which is just 36 withered plants or 36 piles of straw, so basically the same thing. It's just divided out, and it's less of them needed for the makeshift version. But it'll work as well. And withered plants are fairly easy to come by. Just go out to the forest and start searching through the underbrush. And the most common thing you're going to find is actually withered plants. So do a little bit of time doing some searching. Drag back all the withered plants you find. And then uh, weave those together into short ropes. And that will give you the raw material that you need to build these things. Alright, so the how-to. If we first go to the build or the construction menu, that's Shift-8. And then we can pick the start vehicle construction choice. I'm going to pick the direction directly above me for this example. And it's asking what we want to build it. I've got both wooden frames, three of them, and a light wooden frame. Be careful to make sure you use the standard wooden frame first for the base. And we're going to call this the Travois. We'll do that one first. And there's our start. So we've got a wooden frame deployed. If we examine that, it's acting like a vehicle now. And now that we've got the wooden frame down, we can do install. And we can see the choices that we've got, and one of them is Travois. And you can see over here what it requires to build it. So we are going to need one short rope, one light wood frame, and also a tool with either lifting or strength one. So we meet all these currently. The short rope, again, is the only thing that's a little tricky. You just got to know how to get short rope. But we'll go ahead and build that out of the short rope on my body. And there we go. It is done. We have a travois. That simple. So again, short rope. One piece of short rope is the only thing that's tricky about building the travois. A wooden frame, a light wooden frame, and some short rope. That's pretty much all you're going to need. And the, the frames are all made out of uh, two by fours and nails, so they're not too difficult. Um, let me show you the light wooden frame, though, because <clears throat> it does actually add some complexity. So light wood frame, unfortunately, three three short ropes. <laughs> so you're going to need, what, four total short ropes, I believe, to build the travois, three to build the light wood frame, and then one to uh, attach it to the wood frame. So as long as you understand how to get short ropes, and there are a number of ways to do it, so I'll let you investigate and figure out some other ways. Um, but as long as you can do that, then you shouldn't have any kind of a problem. And then let's build the wood box one as well real quick just to show you for an example. So we're going to start vehicle construction north of me again. We'll call it the drag box 2. There's the frame down. We go here and then install. You can see wood box is one of the choices. This one is just going to require a na or 20 nails, a standard wood frame, not the light wood frame. And then a tool with hammering of two. And that's simple, just the makeshift hammer or the stone hammer. You, you know how to build that. It's simple. Um, just have one of those handy and you'll be able to put this together. And there we go. We have the wood box version. So this has 50 capacity. This has 37 and a half. 
this is harder to build because it takes more short ropes uh, than this. So build whichever you have the materials for. If you don't feel like you can take the time or the effort to gather all the short ropes needed for the travois, then definitely go start with a box and you can adjust it later. You can also always go in and uh, remove the wood box and replace it with a travois. That will work just fine once you've got the ropes. Let me show you one other tip though in regards to short ropes. So this is a little further along that you'll be able to do this, but I'm going to spawn a vehicle. And here's something that a lot of people don't know or don't realize in the early game uh, that you can take advantage of. So I'm going to spawn a vehicle, just any kind of vehicle is fine. I don't want anything fancy. Let's just do... Um, let's do a sports car. Right there. Alright, so we've got a sports car. So basically, approach any, any vehicle <clears throat> And you have these seat positions, and in particular, I'm curious or wanting to show you the seat belts. So if we examine the vehicle, usually for every seat position, there's going to be a seat belt listed. Hopefully it's not destroyed. And if you step out of the vehicle here, so we'll examine it from this position. I'm going to hit the remove choice, go down to seat belt, and there is a requirement. So it does require a tool with screw driving of one or more. So you need a screwdriver. So I'm going to summon up a screwdriver, and this is the only thing that I mentioned that requires a little bit of preparation or finding of things uh, further into the game. So we're going to wish for an item, and we're going to find a screwdriver. Alright, so I now have a screwdriver in my inventory, so when I examine the car, if I pick remove and go to seat belt, you can see here we now meet the requirements. Mechanics of one, a screw driving of one, and strength of one. So not very very far out. I mean, just either make sure you start with mechanics one or do some disassembling, um, some assembling, crafting type stuff and vehicle type stuff to get to mechanics one. Have a screwdriver in hand and you can remove this. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So the Seatbelt has been removed from the list, but look what happens when we look at the ground. So that's the seatbelt components. A short rope. Yay, short ropes. <laughs> so if you find yourself in need of short ropes and or strings, which these break down into, or long ropes, which you can use short ropes to build, so any one of that chain of items, um, just tear seatbelts out of cars. And so you commonly see me, me do this early game is when I roll up on a car, I'll check for gas to see if I need to siphon any out. I might need the headlights. There's various things I'm looking for, but for the first period of time, I will commonly grab every seatbelt that I see to build up my supply of short ropes because they're usable by themselves for recipes. You can break them down into uh, strings and threads. You can bring build them up into long ropes and so on so they're a good easy to acquire intermediate item that you can move up and down the crafting chain as appropriate for the raw materials so take advantage of that it's a great source of uh, ropes and like i said if you grab a rope and you look at it it notes here you could use it to craft a long rope wooden frames wooden armor kits short straps and so on but you can also disassemble it into six long strings so a single short rope turns into six long strings, which would basically be tearing down six of these curtains for the long strings. So it's a great resource that's a good thing to know about in the early part of the game um, and take advantage of that. So that's all I wanted to talk about this particular episode. That covers these various draggable containers, how to get them, uh, where to find them, and or how to build them. So, hope that you find this information useful. As always, please take advantage of the social media contacts I've got below. I've got my Discord channel if you want to stop by and ask me any questions or chat about the game. I've also got links to my other social media platforms. You can visit me on Twitch when I'm live streaming there and or whatever you'd like. So, hope to see you there in the future and have a great day. Bye-bye.